So we all know that we let go of thoughts in sitting. And it can be useful to just consider, for me it was pivotal to, at a certain point, some years into my practice, I was very slow at some things. And uh, after some years into my practice, it occurred to me to wonder, what is thinking? How do I know when I'm thinking? And uh, it really helped me to, to understand that thinking is when words are coming through my head and I'm listening to them <laughs> and I'm caught up in them. Again, it seems obvious, but um, I had never defined it for me. Or it's also when little movies are coming through, little uh, fantasies are coming through. Those are the two main uh, things that take us away from present moment reality is uh, our thinking minds, right? Because it mostly has to do with thoughts about the past, thoughts about the future, or judging or evaluating or analyzing the present moment, which also separates us even from the present moment, right? So to identify that for myself is so helpful. There are words coming through my head. Therefore, I'm probably not practicing zazen right now. I'm probably thinking. <laughs> Therefore, that gave me a little bit of muscle to let go of the thought. Now there's a little series of pictures and fantasies coming through my head. That probably means I'm not doing zazen. That probably means I'm thinking. Of course, these things are going to cross our minds, but the problem is when we grasp them, when the train pulls into the station and instead of letting it leave, we jump on board, right? Um, we, my, experience, my, my take on experienced practitioners is they usually know how to do zazen. They usually know how to sit in the zendo. But outside the zendo, oftentimes these other things creep in. Right? Um, one thing that is, is very, very difficult for many of us, including really seasoned practitioners, is work practice. Um, so how do we keep our attention during work practice? Again, my advice for se session is don't leave reality. You know, so what's the reality of work practice? Most of us know how to do this in Sasa. Um, but the practices that we do in the Zendo are transferable if we make that effort. It's easy not to make that effort or to forget to make that effort. <clears throat> One thing that I find really helpful is just to remember the breath is our most reliable anchor to the present moment. Um, this is something we all started with in practice. But oftentimes we move on to other practices and we may forget. So one thing that's really helpful for me in uh, work practice is to time the breath to my actions. Perhaps this is because I'm used to doing uh, Qigong and yoga practices where you do that. It automatically becomes a meditative practice if action is tied to the breath. Or it has the opportunity to become <laughs> if you tie your action to the breath. So, for instance, I'm, I was cleaning the bathrooms today. When you reach, I can reach in the basket and grab the paper towels on an in-breath and I can apply them to the mirror on an out-breath. And if I stay with my breath and time it with my action, guess what? I can stay pretty locked into the present moment experience. The thing is, it's actually more pleasant to stay locked into our present moment experience because where's our mind going to go if we don't? It's very likely to drift towards uh, what are the preoccupations that we had before we came in, our worries and, and distractions. Um, 